Okay, so today we are just leaving our mooring this side of uh, Rawls. We're heading uh, for the first time. For the first time we're heading up the North Oxford. Um, and we're going to go probably about five or six miles to Hill Morton, which is just outside of Rugby. I'm negotiating a bridge, which is why I'm not looking at the camera. This trip to Rugby would mean that we were able to stock up at the large Tesco's there, but more importantly, be near a train station to get me to Coventry for my vaccination. The North Oxford looks really muddy here, testament to the amount of rain that we've had and the runoff from the farmers' fields. At last we approach Hillmorton Locks, now the busiest flight on the entire network. Following the straightening of the Oxford Canal in the 1820s, there was a need to increase the capacity of the Hillmorton Locks. The solution was to build two locks side by side. The work was completed on the locks in the 1840s, and the unique paddle system between the two locks allowed water to be passed from one to the other reducing the filling time to 1 minute and 20 seconds.
Here we have Rob watching rugby in rugby. It's quite apt, really. <coughs> Indeed. Here we are at rugby. Just behind that blue boat is where we've been moored for about a week and a half. Um, quite handy to have a water point here. There's a rubbish bin over there behind that grey car. You have to trust me on that one. And those people that want a mooring with lots of conveniences, this is by Bridge 58 in Rugby. And just over there, about a few hundred yards, is a giant Tesco that's open 24 hours a day, as well as an M&S Foods, a TK Maxx, a KFC, McDonald's, you name it, it's over there, really handy. Rob's had his vaccine while we were in, while we were here. We went to Coventry and he had it yesterday. So it doesn't seem to have any ill effects. Not sure why, because I was so poorly, but there we go, that's him, Superman. And then today we need to move off because the toilet tank is more than full. Leaving Rugby, we see the entrance to the Rugby Arm on the left-hand side. This would take you all the way down to Rugby Wharf. The Newbold Tunnel was completed in 1834 as part of the canal straightening and unusually it has a towpath on either side. As we approached the marina we were really surprised to see somebody clicking away taking lots of photographs. When we pulled up alongside for our pump out imagine our surprise to find that the person taking the photographs was the, a really good friend of the original owners of our boat and apparently our boat spent the first three years of its life moored in that very same marina. What a coincidence. Before the canal straightening, the North Oxford used to run right through the village of Brinklow, shown by the blue line on this map. The red line shows the new route, which effectively reduced the canal length by half, down from 22 to 11 miles. Today, the entire village centre has a preservation order in place. It's really beautiful, with lots of unique buildings. That's what you got there, Mr. Coleman. Chimney, 20, chimney. <laughs> 20 kilograms of coal, and we're about a mile and a quarter on the boat, mm. so. You can do it, look at you, big strong man.
Our next mooring is at Hawkesbury Canal Junction, otherwise known as Sutton Stop, named after the first lock keeper. This means we have now completed the entire South and North Oxford canals, but it's taken since October, thanks to Covid. So here we are, we've cycled from Hawkesbury Junction on these little circus bikes down the towpath and we're now almost at Coventry Junction, no, Coventry Basin and we came across this amazing artwork which I just had to stop and take a video of. It's incredible. And a cool wooden sculpture here of a mooring pin with some ropes on it. Yeah, let's have another look. Look over here. Amazing butterfly. Ducks. Very talented artist that's done this. When we reached Coventry Basin, we found this lovely statue of James Brindley. He was an early canal pioneer who designed the Oxford and the Coventry canals, um, amongst many others. Well, I'm showing you how easy it is to take our little bikes apart. Readers of the early blog will remember the tumble dryer that we found under the back stairwell. We removed it and created the perfect home for our bikes. It's Rob's birthday and his treat for today is to be the first person to take our kayak out on its maiden voyage. Let's hope he doesn't fall in. Whilst at Hawkesbury Junction, it was great to see the fuel boat giving us a delivery of coal, a lot easier than carrying it. Hawkesbury Junction, notice the strange configuration of this bridge, which goes up this way, comes down on that side. And that's because the towpath switches from port side to the starboard side once we go around the, through the junction. And this would have enabled horses to be led up there and down the other side, and so avoiding the use of uh, having to untether the horses. Very clever. Hi. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the final stretch of the uh, of the North Oxford. Um, it was an interesting reflection when we when we look back at uh, Hawkesbury Junction and uh, and realised the 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 effect of COVID. So by sticking to the rules and only moving for water and for pump outs and uh, and for food and essentials. Um, and obviously spending the time and vaccinations <laughs> um, and spending our time in the marina at um, at Crick over over the, the worst of the winter uh, that it's taken us uh, since middle of October mm -hmm. uh, to complete the um, the Oxford Canal. Um, better times are around the corner. Uh, April the 12th uh, effectively removes pretty much all of the restrictions on boaters and we'll see the holiday boats coming out then. Uh, as well, since March the twenty ninth, we've been able to move slightly more as well, which is uh, uh, which has been which has been great. Mm -hmm. um, but clearly, we're we're very conscious of not putting ourselves or or others at uh, at risk. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed what we were able to show you um, uh, in this vlog, and look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.